Chris, it was such a big sports weekend, sports day here in the Valley and across the country. The Phoenix Suns beat the Boston Celtics 100 to 91, but this game was much different than others during the pandemic. Yes, it was the victory on the court. Of course, that was great. But as Elliot Polikoff shows us, the Suns were winners before the game even started. It has been 336 days since the Phoenix Suns last had fans in the stands today. That streak is over as 1,500 healthcare workers, friends, and family came to see the Suns take on the Celtics. Just a small way of giving back to those who have given so much. Go Suns! <laughs> I'm really excited. I, I hope, I, I believe in my Phoenix Suns. And the Suns believe in our local healthcare workers. So free tickets to a game was the least they could do to show their appreciation. For us, being able to recognize that group and honor our healthcare heroes, um, was something that was important to our managing partner, Robert Sarver. As a matter of fact, it was, it was his idea. For the Suns, this is more than just a nice act. It's personal. Small forward Cam Johnson's mom, she's a nurse back home in Pennsylvania. We recognize your incredible commitment and service at all times, but especially over the past year through such unprecedented challenges. We appreciate all you do, and we couldn't be here playing today without all of you. No doubt, the healthcare workers that were already diehard Suns fans felt the love. I am ecstatic. I am so, oh, I just hope I don't spend too much money on everything here and the, ah, oh, and the team shops twice its size, I hear. And those that weren't diehards are now well on their way to becoming that. It's amazing. It's amazing that the community is coming together, you know, for the better, for the greater good, for the general population. It's a blessing. The Suns are back in action tomorrow against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The general public can attend that game and the rest moving forward. In Phoenix, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family.